Hey guys, so Carlos here and welcome back to Make Quest. Last episode we collected the bones of what we thought was a triceratops but was something else entirely. Zardosaurus or something, I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, this episode we are actually going to continue the story guide. We completed this one. And now it says, as someone on planet Kark wants to talk to you. There's someone is very interested in meeting you for unknown reasons. Might be worth checking out. Head to Gark and find out more. Be careful, Gark is a lawless outpost for smugglers and thieves. You don't want to go unarmed. I've got my mech. I'll be fine. Anyway, where is... It's over here. Oh, looks like we have Planet 51. Wait, we already had Planet 51. That was the Coliseum thing. That's Necroptos and that's Romero. Let's go to Gark for now. It's a small desert planet, littered with bandits and bars. Bounty hunters spend a lot of their time there. Oh. Well, this is happening. I am going to pour myself a glass of water. This is why I'm not skipping. Because my hands are tight. So, another reason I'm not skipping this is because they might have a story-based cutscene here. I don't remember this cutscene being this long. Okay, no story-based cutscene then. And I have a bandit to deal with. A pizza body. Weird. I like it when enemies have mismatched weapons and stuff. I don't know why, I just like it. Anyway, hitting you with this. Hmm. Well, that forced you to skip a turn. I'm going to hit you with this anti frying pan to try to knock you out. Did not work. Okay, hitting you with this then. To get you to miss. Oh, I guess you needed to recover energy. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Wasteland fine. Great job. You defeated a wasteland bandit. That whole thing was just... Quest. Wrong button. You can't enter any of these buildings. And there's nothing there as well. Gark is a very lackluster planet. Okay. This little cantina is the meeting place for many unsavory types. Enter at your own risk. Why are there SPDF whatever soldiers? Saluna Defense Force, SDF soldiers there. Look, stranger, I don't mean any offense, but you don't belong here. Don't say it in one Let's order some juice. Oh boy, here we go again. Hey you, that's my seat you're sitting in. I don't know you, I don't like you either. Time to teach you a lesson. Get him, guys. Hey, you had better have a good blade, friend. All this over some juice. What is the word coming through? The bartender is saying, Bar fight, bar fight, bar fight. The last guy didn't say that, but doesn't matter. Ooh. So I need to beat 10 bandits at once? Well, that's easy enough because these fights are very RNG. You either win or you don't. I guess... Saying it's RNG is kinda wrong. Whether you win or not depends mostly on how much damage you're outputting, which depends on what blade you have equipped. 
there's really no strategy here. So these fights go really quickly. I check the time, it takes around 10 seconds per fight. Hold on, I gotta pick up the phone. I really need to start remembering to turn my phone off while I but fuck it, it's fine. One problem that phone call did, one problem that it caused is that I forgot, I forgot how long this fight took. I was timing it. Okay, never mind. I am gonna time the next fight. How long does each of these fights take? That can be right. That about 10 seconds. Try again. Yeah, it takes around 10 to 12 seconds depending on the load screens. Contrast that with the 1 minute fight times for the normal battles. So yeah, this is really fast. Also, some fights might take longer because of, I guess, bad RNG. Like the last fight. That one took way longer. This one didn't take as long. Last fight, let's go. That's the brute blade, right? Either that's an energy machete or that's the brute blade. I think that's an energy machete. Bar fight. Wow, that was quite a bar fight. It's hard to believe that was all about this little seat in a bar. Okay, you're pretty tough, but now you've got bigger problems. Those guys were looking, and those guys were working for pirates. Pirates? Captain Zack Flamingo and his crew rolled in a few weeks ago and are terrorizing this town. Word on the street is that his first mate, Skipper, wants you out of the picture for good. You'd better be a good makeup pilot. You've got big problems. Let's drink juice. Fortified with vitamins, you are healed. Let's fight. And there we go, the pirate mix. Don't clearly... I remember the Garth Lagos storyline being kinda complex by MakeQuest standards, but I don't really remember how so. Anyway, hitting you with this. Do you have any stats? You do. Your stats are pretty spread out. Which is not good for you. But then again, my own stats are kind of spread out. Not as much as yours though. Hard feelings. Take this. Great job, you defeated Captain Zack's first mate. Skipper, okay. You don't know when to quit, do you? Now Captain Zack himself wants a piece of you. Okay, let's fight Captain Zack then. So this is Captain Zack. He has basically the same chassis but different weapons. I guess his is more ranged focused, even though it's all the same. Instead of ranged focused, I should have said ranged themed. Anyway, here's the air gun. That destroyed half your energy bar and now I'm gonna miss a lot. Or maybe not. I should check what your I should check what your stat layout is. High perception. Yeah, you're definitely themed around the ranged fighter. 
even though again it really doesn't matter in this game whether you're using a gun or one of these things a frying pan Great job, you defeated Captain Z. The Catida is safe for now. Okay. Wow, that was pretty impressive. Hey, that guy over there wants to talk to you. What guy? Prince Robert. Hello, Zulk. I must admit that this has all been staged by me. What? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Robert of the Eltion Dynasty on planet Arturia. I desperately need your help. My sister Robina disappeared three weeks ago. Like Robina the Hood Robina? I don't know if there is a Robert in Adventure Quest or Dragon Fate. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I know about the King Eltion. And, and for reasons that will become apparent later, MadQuest has a lot of I guess you could say parallels to Dragon Fable and Adventure Quest character-wise. Like Val the Museum dude is Valencia in Adventure Quest. And Evil Corp CEO Mr. Z is Zorbak in Adventure Quest. Stuff like that. Dean Warlick is Warlick the powerful blue mage in Adventure Quest. So yeah. Uh, and while I have never seen King Eltion in Adventure Quest, I think that's because he is primarily in Dragon Fable and I haven't gotten far enough in Dragon Fable to meet him. I've only heard about him. I never really I mean, saw him in Adventure Quest. As I do know about Robin. I don't think I have ever heard anyone that's like Prince Robert. Slabrat I have heard of in Dragon Fables. Robert? No. She was on a philanthropic mission. And when her craft suddenly veered off course, her father, fearing for her safety, gave her a locket that is a hidden tracking device. We trace the signal of the locket to the planet Lagos in a distant star system. We believe that she has been kidnapped by a group of pirates led by Dread Pirate Rhubarb. Yeah, Pirate Captain Rhubarb is also in both Adventure Quest and Dragon Fable. We believe that Lagos is the secret homeworld of the pirates. Our Royal Navy is headed there now. So look, I'd like you to go in and escort Robina safely away from Lagos. Do you accept this mission? Yes. Prince Robert's salvage shop is available, I guess. Thank you. I will provide you with a stamp with coordinates for the planet Lagos. Planet Lagos appeared on Instagram. map. Zulk, I wish you the best of luck on this mission. My sister's life is in your hands. Weapon shops. My ship ran into pirates on the way to this planet. Join me and I will allow you to access our salvage. What do you have? The rustic Cutlass is coated in acid, you say? Huh. Well, unfortunately, these things are all way too high level for me. What's this way? Let's go to Lagos. I do not remember this story very much. Like, I know I've done this, I remember doing it, but I don't remember anything that happens in this part of the game. So, the reflective nature of the atmosphere of the planet makes teleportation very difficult. Unfortunately, it appears that you have been beamed into the ocean. You will have to head for those islands to the east. Good luck! So, like, am I battling? Yep. I'm battling sea monsters. 
Luckily, um, think that you I broke. I don't know what that was about. Uh, the beautiful oceans of Lagos, a wonderful place to view the behavior of the wild kraken. Yeah. Yeah, everything broke. Hang on, I think I need to close and open this up again. Okay, let's see how far they saved my progress. You now have access to planet Lagos, go there now. Go now. I don't know what is going on. Why did you get two attacks? The UI broke again. If I eject... Will this fix it? The answer is no. For some reason, for some reason, the game is trying to run two combats at once. That's the problem. Just try to get past this combat. Okay, this time I don't think everything broke. I moved and I encountered a Kraken again. Yeah, for whatever reason, this Kraken fight is borked. I have to be really careful so as to not break the UI again. Okay, hopefully nothing else breaks. This place is a fucking buggy mess. Okay, don't think the game is breaking anymore. So I can focus on actually fighting my enemies properly this time. What was that? Oh, you blew up my back arm. I forgot you could do that. It's fine. I just can't. It sucks because now I can't target your energy anymore, but I have other ways to deal with you. Wow, you are still hitting me. And you dodged. And I might be screwed. Um, fire the gravity gun. Hope to get more misses. Does that mean I need to go back to the buggy situation? Hold on, I need to eject. 
because I am missing an arm. I am not fighting him with one arm missing. Um, I might be stuck here, guys. Because it, the game isn't letting me go anywhere else and let's say keep going forward. And that is a problem because I am missing an arm. This might be a lost cause. Never mind, you missed a bunch of attacks. You won't miss anymore because you locked on. Back shoulder destroyed. I might be able to beat you. Either fine, excellent. You defended your old booty from a pirate pirate attack. Can I heal? Retreat. Help. Oh wait. I can heal this way. Now where? Is the forceful anger. I just unequip it and then re-equip it. Right? There it is. Re-equip it. Fort Stranger, this is as far as you go. Or turn away now or be destroyed. Battle time. Now that I actually have all of my stuff functioning. This should be a lot easier to deal with. Targeting systems damaged. Oh. That is not good. Every attack is making me worse and worse at hitting. Hopefully this will make you miss as well. Just like that. Perfect. Unlock secret hideout. Great job. You defeated the guardian at the cave. Unfortunately you just eliminated my only guard. Now you must protect this hideout from pirates. Shows how many pirates you have defeated. It is a temporary count. It resets after you log out. Oh, so that means once I start, I can't stop unless I beat all of them. Let's talk to you. Hello, Zulk. I am sorry that my bodyguard attacked you. A group of pirates recently discovered this hideout and are getting ready to mount an assault. Now you must help us defend the base while my bodyguard's mecha undergoes repairs. Okay, I will do that in the next episode for now though uh, i think i am going to end this episode here so guys if you like this video be sure to leave a like comment and to subscribe dislike it if you did it i'll hide your comment to let you know i've read them so just because i added your comment doesn't mean i agree with it or endorse it i'm zulka rs and i'll see you next time goodbye